What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Raw Money, and welcome back to the channel. Now, I am back with an exciting video, you guys. I am back to do, finally, the closet reveal, the pantry reveal, and everything we got done. I know in my last video talking about the closets, there was a lot of issues that we ran into with some damages, like missing pieces, just anything that you could imagine that went that could have went wrong went wrong so i am back i told you guys that i would come back with the update and just kind of show you guys how everything turned out and as you can see i'm actually happy so before we get into the video if you guys have not yet please like share subscribe and click that bell for future post notifications so let's get right into the video so we're gonna go ahead and start in the master closet now, in my previous videos, I showed you guys how we painted the master closets um, along with pretty much all the doors that lead to our bedroom, bathroom, et cetera, et cetera, gold. We wanted those pops of gold. So you're looking at the door that actually leads from our closet into the utility room. So I think it looks really good. Now, as you can see on this side, this is kind of the vibe we were going for. You guys know that gray, dark gray, light gray, black, gold, those are all of the colors that I'm kind of going with. That's my palette throughout the entire house. Now, this is the other door that leads um, from our master closet into our master bathroom, which again is gold on both sides. So back to the topic at hand. On this side, like I said in my last video about the closet, the closet is kind of shaped in an odd shape, so it was really difficult for our designer to kind of like split the closet evenly um, into two sides, one for myself and one for my wife. So she did the best that she could to kind of make sure that she was able to kind of like differentiate both sides. Um, but I'll tell you right now, my wife has a crazy, crazy, crazy shoe collection. So it's like, honestly, you'll you'll kind of see her shoes sprinkled throughout the entire closet. I was nice enough to let her use some of, you know, some little cubbies in the closet that were actually supposed to be mine because I don't know if you guys know, but I have a glam room upstairs and I actually got that closet built out as well. So it kind of worked out where we still had, you know, the same even amount of space. So I wasn't tripping, whatever. So um, this is her side of the closet, as you can see. Now over here, we have, um, how many drawers is that? One, two, three, four, five, six drawers a piece. And then we have like this little flat top here. And then it kind of leads into some shelves, which is pretty cool. Because um, we both like, after we got our closet designed and sat down with our designer, we were like, oh my gosh, where are we going to put our colognes and perfumes? But it actually worked out perfectly because we did not put any thought into where our things were or our perfumes and scents were going to go. But like I said, this worked out perfectly because as you can see, she still has room to grow more with her cologne collection. So these are all of her shoes. And you guys, this isn't even all of her shoes. She's still going to have to figure out something else with her overflow. So that's a whole nother topic. But for now, this is what she did. And she put her most, I guess, prized, I guess, showy shoes, which all of them are technically are. But these are all of her tennis shoes that I guess she had to choose her favorites. You know, she's got some Burberry up there, some Gucci. Um, Coach, believe it or not, they have some really nice collab designer type shoes. So she's got some of those up there. She's got her Nike. She's got a few Jordans, some Yeezys, um, foams and all that good stuff. Um, she's got some like Chelsea boots, Balenciagas. You guys get my drift. So this area here is where she put all of her coats. Super cute. She's got some more, like these coats are like vacation coats when we go out of town, places like Colorado where it's really cold. So she's got quite the collection of coats. I'm jealous. I don't have nearly as much as I should. So I have to catch up with her. So this is her other area where she's got her kind of like everyday coats, jean jackets, vests, um, you know, just little throw on jackets when we're going somewhere. Um, I think in this drawer, she's got her underwear, pajamas. I'm not going to go through all of her drawers, but let me step back so you guys can see. 
boom and so then um the designer because this door opens and there's not really much that we could do with this wall um she thought it would be a good idea to put a block with just some hooks for us to hook or hang our tile towels or if we want to put robes or whatnot um kind of wish they would have did something a little more fancier I don't like the fact that these are silver, so I'm probably going to look into either like doing some metallic spray paint, excuse my ashy hands, you guys, to kind of match everything else. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but on our hanging rods, we um, requested to have those gold. Those typically are silver, but that was an upcharge to kind of get those, um, you know, a custom color, which I'm happy about because I didn't want to have all this gold throughout the house and then silver so that worked out perfectly i think it blends in really good with the door so obviously i had to go and find hangers that would match the color scheme in here so we just got those velvet hangers that you see everywhere that typically have the silver um hooks i was able to find gold ones and you guys i was stressed out about that because like i said everywhere you look they're always silver so i was like all on um amazon and just trying to figure out where I could get like a whole bunch of hangers in bulk with the color that I was looking for. And believe it or not, I found these at Walmart um, by Better Home and Garden. It comes in a box of 30 for like $15. So it was just crazy. We were running around Walmart looking for those um, hangers. And we literally went to like three different Walmarts and picked up every single box that they had. And we even have a few extra boxes for like, you know, when our wardrobe grows because they were always out of stock. So you see them you might want to pick them up if that's the color you're looking for so anyway this is where she keeps all of her um polos dress shirts these crazy little outfits my wife is very retro in a sense she reminds me of the 80s kind of bruno marsy style i love it but yeah she keeps all her stuff there and as you see she still has room to grow her wardrobe um and then down here she keeps her little sweats and other like sweaters for everyday wear and then she's got some um little sweat suits that she can throw on when we're kind of lounging or just heading out for the day um let's see we opted to also or we requested to have an island now as you see it's not a very huge closet so we had to maximize the space and so the designer was actually able to put us a small island which we were happy about and we got it split into two sides. So this is my wife's side where she keeps all her t-shirts, all her brewery t-shirts. And then I requested to actually have a glass top um, instead of having the wooden tops. I thought it would be pretty neat to have a glass top to kind of look down into where we could see our jewelry. So this is her side. And then we have two drawers that go onto the island where we it leads to the jewelry and stuff like that and then this one is like for glasses and belts or whatever you want to do there so then we'll get over to my little slither sliver of a side if you want to call it um this is where my little area is for my perfumes so that worked out really good i still have room to buy more perfumes and scents these are little shelves that um I can do whatever with, I can put purses, I can opt to put more shoes, clothes, whatever the case may be. If I want to move things around, I still haven't quite figured out what I really want to do with this area because this isn't even half of my purses. Um, our designer thought it would be cool to add this thing here. Um, at first, I thought it was like for steaming clothes or something, but apparently this is extra hanging space where you can hang clothes across there and you pull it down by this bar here. And then you can pull it up and the clothes will hang like if you have an overflow of clothing. Now, at some point, my wife also had that, but she switched it up. And um, the designer, she or she designed this part herself where she opted out of that. And she said it was really not useful for her because she has way more shoes than anything. So she took that out and had them add two shelves, with the, which they actually did for free based on all of the damages and stuff that happened with our walls. So I know I don't know if you guys noticed that all of those like scuffs and damages that we had from them installing our closet, which we were pretty upset about, all that got fixed. They had a um, wall specialist come in and do repairs and repair all of that for us. So I was really happy about that. Um, I was really upset with the company and we kind of were going back and forth, but I will say that they were really good about getting everything that, you know, was damaged taken care of. And they assured us, us that from the beginning, but when you've invested so much money into something and 
you have problems like that, you kind of can't see past that. And you're just like, it, it was just unbelievable to us at one point. There were like chunks of wood missing out of pieces. But the lady assured us and, and she definitely kept her end of the bargain up and with no problem, they reordered us pieces with anything we weren't happy with. And they came in and replaced it. So they, they replaced this. At some point, this didn't match. We had a temporary piece, but they ordered us another piece here. This was um all black at some point. And um, they forgot our glass. So they ended up getting our glass. Then the second time they came out, our glass was actually cut too short. So this just got done last week. That's why it's taken me so long to do the closet reveals. So anyway, back to my side. Um, the designer thought that this would be really kind of cute and feminine for me with this little um, closet type of deal. And she added a mirror for me. But of course, we both use it. I was nice enough to let my wife use it. So we can kind of stand here and look at ourselves when we're getting dressed um, just kind of come in here, take a look around. And then it actually has a door that leads to all of my shoes. I have a pretty decent tennis shoe collection. Also, I copy my wife and, you know, she's taught me well. So I've got a few Jordans in here that go from top to bottom. So this is where I keep all of my things. I figured I'd put all my dressy shoes upstairs in my glam room. So that's what that's about. And then, of course, I have my six drawers on my side where I keep all of my underwear, bras, my workout clothes, um, just some kind of like leggings and just like little camisoles, tank tops and stuff of that sort. So we have that side along with my little mirror chest type of thing. And then, of course, my jewelry side where I have all of my jewelry necklaces, like stuff like that. And then in this drawer, I have all of my sunglasses and like all of my prescription wear glasses and all of my t-shirts and stuff like that. So over here, I have all of my um, dress, like kind of shirt things. And then up there, I have like hoodies and like sweat pants. Here, I've used my shelves to kind of I really don't know what I put there, but then I have my like little sweatsuits and sweat jackets, furry sweaters, um, dresses, skirts, jeans, and then I have this whole um, section, I guess, to grow with. So my jeans, all of her jeans, and you guys, my wife has way more clothes than I. Our son, my wife, their clothes are like ridiculous. I don't know what I spend my money on. My wife says that I spend my money on dumb things like cosmetic procedures, but whatever. We'll get into that later. So this is like a little cubby um, area where our builder told us we could put our luggage. And at first we were thinking about making this our dog's little area, but I thought about it and I was like, nah, I don't need my closet smelling like dog, even though she doesn't stink that much, but she's bad. And when she retaliates, she decides to pee. So I don't need my carpet and our closet smelling like urine. But right now my wife has like some little, I don't know what that stuff is, but our extra hangers in a box. So that took up quite a bit of time to reveal our master closet, but there was just so much to say, you guys, I'm in love. Everything turned out amazing. Can't complain at this point. I'm happy. We are happy. And, you know, everything got done the way it was supposed to. Now, later on, I am going to get rid of these kind of like neon. It reminds me of like a conference room school light. And I'm going to have um, some chandeliers, like, you know, hers and her chandeliers on each side. So I'll, you know, be talking to you guys about that project a little later. So we're going to move on to the next space, which is going to be the pantry. We are now in the kitchen. This is the door leading into the pantry. So you open the door here and the light is here and this is our pantry. Our pantry isn't the biggest as I stated in another video, but I am happy with it. I think um, our decision or my wife's decision to get the pantry built out was an excellent idea. At first I was opposed to it because I was like, oh, it's just extra money that we don't really need to spend. The pantry, for the most part, did have some shelves that came with it, but she wanted more of a, I guess, designer type of pantry where it looked a little more aesthetically pleasing. And then, of course, the color was just white, and obviously we painted the walls a little darker. So 
I, once it was done, I was like really happy that she decided to push back and um, put her foot down and basically decide to get the pantry done. So this is what we have going on. So it kind of curves around like this. And then we have a few shelves that do the same thing. So we've got all our spices and everything in here organized, which came out really nice. Down here, we gotta do something with this, but for now, this is what works. We still have a few things that need to come in from Container Store. Speaking of Container Store, the Container Store was truly what outfitted our pantry amongst the closet designer. Um, they had a huge kitchen and pantry sale um, that lasted from like all the way until the 17th of this month, April, from like April 1st until the 17th. So we took full advantage of that. I think we went like three different days and we literally stocked up on a bunch of these like little containers. So we got some spice containers where we were able to organize all of our spices. We've got like little tea containers. Um, we do a lot of keto off and on. So we have these like little keto drinks and these are like little containers that you can put, you know, sugars and whatever. Um, we got some more tea over there. We've got these big smoked kind of gray bins that we thought looked really nice versus the clear white ones. So that was a nice touch where we keep our snacks. Oh, you see that chalk zero? That's really good if you're doing keto, you guys, by the way. Which doesn't make sense because right next to it, I have these butter cookies. Oh my God, you guys, I'm a sucker for those. Um, so yeah, more snacks. Once again, I'm like contradicting our keto-ish lifestyle because we have those butter vanilla sugar cookies. Can't wait to try those though. They've been sitting there, but one day I'll splurge a little and have a cheat day. But um, we keep our citrus in here, like the little cutie oranges, lemons, limes, and that type of container. We've got our onion container. This is actually supposed to be for potatoes. Excuse the crumbs. My wife actually had onions in there. So for now, we have our cherry tomatoes for like our little salads. We got our little egg container. Um, I really like these. These are typically kind of pricey, but we took advantage, like I said, it was like 20% off of everything. So we have our flour thing, brown sugar, um, I don't know, oh, and regular sugar. So that's flour, regular sugar, brown sugar. As you can see, they're all empty because we haven't used them yet. We haven't been using flour or sugar lately due to our diet. And we keep all of our oils. This olive oil came straight from Italy. So I'm excited to try that. So all of our oils, ghee, coconut oil, some overflow for sauces and little, you know, salt and pepper. We use this every day practically. So it's there. And then I really like this Lazy Susan thing. This is where my wife is literally a condiment slut. Excuse my language. But I mean, any sauce that she sees, it's like, oh, I want to try this. I want to try this. When we're on vacation, we could be anywhere we went to key west and she literally racked up on a bunch of key lime sauces key lime ketchup just whatever so this i thought was a really good idea to get for her at first she was trying to get this one and i was like no you're gonna need the biggest one they have because you are like obsessed with condiments so this is all of our condiments barbecue sauces and stuff like that hot sauces our tahine i'm the only one that eats that so good we have Mrs. Dash over here to watch our sodium intake. We've got more spices. And then this little Lazy Susan thing is for our vinegars and like um, stuff like that. Soy sauces and cooking sprays. So yeah, this is what we have going on. Oh, we've got an area for our vitamins and like coughing cold stuff and then my wife, Obviously, as I've mentioned a few times in my videos, she is an amazing chef. So she's got like little containers for all of her knives with knife covers on them. She's got some gloves there for when she's handling food and neat gloves. And then all of her like grilling equipment and just kitchen utensils, you know, uh, whisks, tongs. Um, she's got <laughs> like potato peeler. She's got this here when she uses like a torch for something. And don't mind our Bud Lights and uh, Seltzer. We've been on like a light beer and seltzer kick lately. Super obsessed with seltzers these days. This Topo Chico 
seltzer is slapping. And then this Keystone Light Beer. So we've got water for our dog and for my plant. We've got our paper cutlery. We've got napkins. We've got our foil plastic bags and stuff like that. And some more cereal. Oh, and I love these cereal things in the pantry. Each of us, our son, myself, and my wife, we each have our own little cereal thing. These things, honestly, you guys, you probably think are a waste of money, but it's really not. These keep your cereal so fresh. Like, instead of keeping them in the box and getting, and you know, they eventually go stale. These things, I mean, they work wonders. It's amazing. Like, my cereal lasted for almost a month. And I was able to eat it all. So, these are definitely a good investment. Um... Yeah, my wife's Fruity Pebbles, they have the birthday cake Fruity Pebble flavors that taste like vanilla cake, I swear. So yeah, this is our pantry, you guys. I know that was long-winded, but I'm just so excited. And I hope you guys can take something from this. And if you're thinking about getting your pantry done, do it, do it. It's like definitely a good investment. Also, I'm a sucker for lighting. This light is cool, but I'm thinking about getting like some type of stylish, like light to put into the pantry as well. Like maybe a gold and black one to kind of tie in everything with the rest of the decor that I have. You guys remember all of the scuffs and scratches and stuff that were here on the wall from their install? Well, they came in and they fixed it. So that worked out. It was all back there also. Just wanted to show you guys how they came in and got it all together. They snatched it together. We are now in our son's room. So this is his closet, as I called it before, his janitor's closet, since it's so small. But I think it came out really, really nice, okay? He has ample amount of room for all of his clothes, flannels, all of his sweatsuits. And like I said, it worked out perfectly because I couldn't really fathom that th this would be enough room for his things because it's so tiny. I mean, it goes back a little bit. But like our designer said, where there's a will, there's always a way. And that's what her job is. And that's what she's here for. But you guys, she literally built pretty high all the way up to the top, which gives him more than enough space. So like I said, this bottom rack, um, he's got all of his flannels, long sleeve button up shirts, his hoodies and sweaters. He even has room still for more. And his color is black and silver, you know can't be like your parents we're like the golden people and he's more of the masculine silver gray and black so this worked out perfectly that we didn't have to pay anything extra at first I was gonna be extra and get his poles matte black but I was like you know what that's kind of a waste of money because you know this looks nice actually and then he could go with the silver and black hangers versus the golden black so this is all of his stuff. Like I said, it goes back pretty far back there. He's got quite a bit of room. And even down here and back there, he's got one, two, three, four, five rows for all of his shoes. So that worked out really good. And then he still has room to put stuff across the top of there. So that worked out really nicely. And then, of course, he has his dresser that he doesn't have to share with anyone so he's good to go i think this closet came out great no complaints there they fixed all of the nicks and dings and stuff that was once in the um wood they pretty much rebuilt one side of his entire closet so that worked the out raw beauty room is up next so here is my closet in the raw beauty room and here is the reveal of that Again, this closet isn't the biggest, but like I said, I think it worked out pretty evenly with my wife having majority of the space in our master closet because I have an entire room to myself. Um, the shoe thing worked out pretty much all of my like designer type off-white um, special release sneakers are up here along with my Louis Vuitton Gucci, some Louboutin Chanel shoes, the Fendi, you guys get my drift. All the girlier things would be in this room. Got a few more purses and wallets and boots and more shoes up there. Got my little designer boxes. And then what I really thought was cool, um, 
Unfortunately, because the closet isn't as big, at first I wanted more like clothing space or more like drawers and stuff in here, but it's just so narrow and tight that like the designer said, putting something on this wall like that would have really like defeated, it, it just wouldn't have worked. It would, it would have clashed because I wouldn't have been able to open things all the way. So she had this idea to put me like this waterfall type of, um, I guess little apparatus where I can put designer belts, scarves, even hats if I wanted to hang them on there. But it goes up pretty high and then I could even use that very top as like a shelf for something. But it goes from top all the way down to the bottom with more shelving if I choose to use that for that. Um, I have two areas for hanging space. So for now I have all of my like trench coats and like coats and fur, furry stuff. My wife is like really... I don't know, she's weird about certain materials. So I spared her and I took my furry type weird things and put it out of sight, out of mind for her. For now, this is a temporary spot for my boxes because I'm gonna have like little display things in my beauty room. Um, but this is extra hanging space if I need, you know, more hanging space for clothing. And then I have more shelves over there. Unfortunately, like I said in my last videos, all of the boxes are in here. We requested to have them in one of the other guest rooms, but they didn't listen and they put them in here anyway. And then of course our like box where all of our like routers and wiring for speakers and stuff throughout the house is all in here too, which is stupid. So um, at first when they built this, they made this a fixed shelf, which I was upset about because we spoke time and time again about it. But they fixed it and they made it an adjustable shelf where I could simply just remove this shelf whenever we need to access um, this panel back here. So it worked out, but I'm happy with the way my closet looks. It's super cute, super girly. Once again, we'll focus in on this light, which is kind of basic or very basic. So I'm going to be putting like some type of little gold and black chandelier up there to just kind of, you know, give it more of a glam type of vibe girly vibe versus this just plain ugly light so again guys this is the raw beauty room closet which i'm feeling y'all see the vibes i love it all right you guys so that concludes the um closet tour like i said that concludes the closet tour um hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions or, you know, requests to see anything else, feel free to leave it in the comment box. I'll put the information um, below if you guys choose to want to use the company. I mean, like I said, initially I was very upset. I wasn't too pleased with the way things, you know, took place. But, you know, the one thing that companies do have to redeem themselves is, you know, we understand mistakes happen and things aren't going to be perfect, but it's all about how you handle, you know, things and incidents that may come about. And, you know, they did what they were supposed to and they got us all taken care of. So, oh, let me go ahead and touch on a few other things that we're going to be looking at having built out. We're still trying to debate if we're going to use the same closet company or if we're going to go with someone else and kind of see what else is out there. Um, hold on. So in our game room, um, we initially wanted to have like a closet person come in. Brooklyn, there you go. Wanting to be seen and heard. How are you, Brooklyn? Hi, girl. Okay, move so I can move, move. Come on. Um, so here we want to get something built, like a built-in shelf or some type of floating shelf here where, you know, my wife can put her like game consoles or gaming equipment and I don't know, whatever she wants to put there. Or I might just go ahead and like buy a floating shelf and save some money and, you know, just kind of have someone come over and install a floating shelf. So we'll see how that works out. And then in our... um theater room we actually wanted to go ahead and get oh the light oh I keep forgetting it's a dimmer in there so we actually were looking initially before all that took place was to get something built here across some type of media console but again to save some money I might just find it online and have someone come in and install it where we can put you know the equipment and whatever else, our remotes and stuff of that sort. So there's still quite a few projects that we're looking to get. 
done throughout the house, um, our bar. Um, I want to get some stuff built in my Raw Beauty Glam Room. So I'll keep you, keep you guys posted and updated with everything once we figure it all out and we start the new projects. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, if you have not yet, please like, share, subscribe, click that bell for future post notifications. And um, you guys, if you have not yet, follow me on Instagram. I have a um, Instagram that I solely dedicate outside of my personal Instagram to my home decor. I'm trying to get better about posting on there and interacting a little more, you know, once I get a little bit more followers. But I am posting on there um, a few things, you know, little knickknacks here and there that I do or things that I buy, different finds. It's called Raw Home Decor. So that's our Raw underscore raw home underscore decor i'll put it across the screen and then i also have a facebook group that i've started where it you know it's just basically a place for other people that you know are passionate about home decor interior design de decorating projects any type of anything having to do with home whether you're doing outdoor projects with outdoor kitchens patios just anything having to do with your house it's a place where we can all connect and share our projects and get ideas and just you know share different sales that we may come across just a fun place to just you know let it all hang out so feel free to join the facebook group it's called rich amazing home which i thought was fitting for my nickname ra r-a-h which is rich amazing home you guys probably think i'm corny as hell but you know it is what it is. So anyway, please don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell for future post notifications. And thank you for watching this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.